lovelies and welcome back to my channel. Thank you for stopping in. I have a new video that I'm bringing to you that has not been on my channel whatsoever yet and I got a request off of one of my followers from Instagram. She wanted to see my makeup collection. So I was like, what a great idea. I mean, I never thought of that and honestly probably wouldn't have because Sometimes there's nothing up in there. But anyways, I was like, you know what? I just redid my whole bathroom counter. I got some fun little organization things that if you've seen my Amazon hauls recently, then you know what I'm talking about. And I shared some of that stuff on my stories. And a lot of you were requesting to know what it is that I like to use. What are some of my like holy grail products? So I thought I'd just take you down and I'd show you all my collection. So I own quite a bit of makeup. Let's get going. So here is my bathroom counter and you can see it's a double sink. That tends to be Larry's side. This is all mama's. So anyways, I just recently got this makeup stand off of Amazon and I also got this little like palette divider set. So I will go through all of the makeups that I have right here. Honestly, this is everything that I own that I am currently using. Everything else I basically just did like toss. So let's start with what I carry with me to work. Okay, so these are basically what I take with me for touch-ups throughout the day. My absolute favorite highlighter currently right now is this Naked by Urban Decay and it's the Illuminate. But oh my goodness, look at how shimmery and shiny this sucker is. I just like to do like a little dabble around like the top of the cheekbone on the outer corner of the eye. That's always with me. And look at this little eyelash curler. So flipping cute. That's from Tarte. Mascara. This is the big ego from Tarte as well. Absolutely love this stuff. This was the holiday little wand. And I just really like it. Like look at the wand. It's just like it kind of has a fat but it gets skinnier than some. And it tapers in the middle and then out to a fatter end wand. I just really like it. The mascara doesn't flake. It lasts really nice. This is from MAC and this is the Plenty of Pout Plumping Lip Gloss. I have this MAC one and it is Nightingale and I just think it's super pretty. It's kind of like a purplish pink color. I actually have it on right now. <laughs> And the lipstick that I have on currently right now, this is from Ben Nye, and this is in the shade called Dusty Rose. And I honestly love this one so, so much. This is like my go-to all the time. I have two lip gloss in here that I love to carry with me because I just love a juicy, plump, glittery lip. Okay, so this one was the first one that I had. This one is from Buxom, and it's just like a clear. It's kind of tinted light pink just because from dabbing it on my lipstick, but it has like that extra plumping effect to it. And then this magicness right here, I got this from MAC, and it is in the shade, can I even read this? I can't read it, but it sold out because it was one of the holiday sets. And I absolutely love it though. This is that light pink shade and it is just so, so sparkly. Like that's what I wear over the top of this little um, combination, I guess we'll say. Favorite blush y'all, again, it's on my cheeks. It's from Hourglass and look at it. This is just gorgeous. So this is in the shade called Iridescent Flash and is the Ambient Strobe Lighting Blush. I have another lipstick and also this one it was from the Holiday Collection as well and the shade is called Starstruck. This one I just like to dab on top of the Dusty Rose which is what I have on right now. It's probably worn off by now but as you can see it probably glistening right there. There's glitter inside of this purple so I haven't ever worn this by itself because She's really purple, but just to do like a little dab, it takes the shimmer off and puts it on your lips and they're just so pretty. My holy grail, the Tarte Shape Tape. I have my liquid eyeliner, which is the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. Another holy grail product is my MAC Studio Fix. And this is in the shade, I believe NW20, yes. 
and W20. My go-to for my eyelash adhesive currently has been, again, from Tarte, but it's just a little wand applicator. I put it on the lash, like air dry a little bit, and then I go plop, and they're good to go. A foundation stick that I love to carry with me is the Hourglass Foundation. This is the Vanish uh, Foundation from Hourglass, and it is in the shade called Porcelain. I also have it in the shade called Vanilla, but Porcelain for right now, it's not summer. This is what I typically use. The last thing that's in my little bag to go is a white eyeliner pencil. This I use on the waterline and then on like the inner corner of my eye. It's probably worn off right now. Yes, it's not really any traces left. It does work to help open your eyes and just make them bigger looking, giving you like that ballet eye effect. And I just really like it. It's a cheap pencil from Sephora. It works. All right, and next up, what was sitting on my counter were some lipsticks. I pulled these out of my purse that I currently travel with me um, because I just never know. I have a few, they're very similar. Pink shades, nude shades. I never know what I might want when I'm on the go or what I'm using to touch up. So I just carry a few with me. Um, but I thought I'd show you these as well because I don't want to leave anything out. So from MAC, this is Velvet Teddy and it's a nice nude shade. Next is Giddy, also from MAC, and this is more of a like soft coral pink. Also, this one, first of all, MAC, but look at the casing, absolutely love it. This is called Under the Covers, okay. And again, this is also very similar to the Giddy, it's just a little bit more opaque, so it's not as sheer. It's a Charlotte Tilbury, and this is Secret Soma, and this one is, I think, my absolute favorite from Charlotte so far. I just love this one so much. It's like a dusty rose color, like not as pink as the one that's on my actual mouth, but it's like a soft mauvey pink, and I just think it's beautiful. Of the top drawers in my little case that's behind me, or behind you actually. Okay, all of these lipsticks, let's get to it y'all. So lots of MAC in here. This one is Dare You, deeper red shade. I only honestly wear this for like stage or like fall time. I don't really wear a lot of red, um, but sometimes you never know when you're gonna need it. Capricus, did I said that right? I probably didn't. I honestly don't really wear this one anymore. It is really pretty. It's just a little more on the brownish mauve side. It's like a brownie mauve purple, and it's not bad. Again, it's more of a fall tone. Bobbi Brown that you can see has been used for quite some time, and this is the shade Blue Raspberry. And again, this is a kind of like a brownie, like blue mauve, color and it's really pretty though. This is more of a sheer color versus that last one I showed you from MAC. So I don't mind it because it's not as like opaque and thick feeling. Party line and this is another red. So I'll show you on my hand. So it's not like crazy bright red, but compared to the Dare You, it's a little bit brighter. Studded Kiss, another red, deep and dark though. This one I actually really love for like fall time. I think it's like super hot on. I have a Diva Antics. This is a really pretty kind of like reddish purple undertone color. Russian Red. This is from my Rockette days and this is like the truest red that you will find right here. And it is, if you need a red lip, this is amazing and it's matte and it just, it like looks super sex bomb. Raja, a deeper purple brown kind of shade right there. Friend Like Me, this is definitely a like nude shade. Like it barely even shows up on my hand. That's how light it is. A whole new world and it's like bright Barbie pink. Ah, love it so much. Princess Incognito, very similar to that Velvet Teddy. It's just a little bit more tan. True Love's Kiss from the Maleficent set. These two are like similar. This was the Russian red. This is the Maleficent one. This one is just a little bit more shiny versus matte. And I would still say it's a little bit brighter red. It's still like a true blue red though. Shocking Revelation. This one is very bright and it's more kind of like a pinky red, but it's definitely red. Heart to heart, corally pink, it's super pretty. Let me show you since I'm doing that now, right there. 
So this is the under the covers. This is just has more coral pigment to it, but they're very similar. So depending on the liner, cause that one is old, the heart to heart. So you might want to get your hands on that one if you are a fan. Captive, this is honestly one of my go-tos. I do love it. This is a, just a nice like pinky mauve with a purple little berry undertone, but it's nothing too crazy loud. Faux. Right there is Faux from the ColourPop um, Elsa collection. This is called Little Snow. And this color is absolutely fabulous. Like, I absolutely love this. This is like a deeper berry, kind of like with a brick undertone to it. Absolutely love it. And look at this packaging. Can we just, Elsa? Yes, thank you. I also have some more Charlotte Tilbury and this is Kidman's Kiss on a softer kind of like corally peach shade and I love it for like spring and summer. I think it's real, real fun for the beach. Pillow Talk, this is one of her like best sellers. This is like what she's known for. This is a super soft, again, I like to wear it with just some natural liners and it's beautiful. This is a Ben and I one and this is called Cotton Candy but with one of my lip liners that I'll show you up here in a second. OMG, it is the prettiest princess lip ever. That almost made me tongue-tied. There, pretty like soft pink as well. Kind of has like a lilac undertone. It's very springy and this is definitely like a matte style. Another one that's similar is called Plumful. This one, it has just a deeper. So the other one was more pink where this one is a little bit more purple undertone. But syrup, again, very similar, but this one is probably my go-to again, because this is more on like the sheer side. So for like my day to day, like just on a normal day, whatever I'm doing, I need a lip because otherwise I feel like death. Um, but I, sometimes I don't want it to be crazy pigmented like I got on right now. So I like to just have like a more sheer effect. So syrup is gorgeous. It's the perfect girly springtime color and you can darken it up with certain liners. It's beautiful. Ben and I, blushable, another very nude color, very similar to the Pillow Talk from Charlotte Tilbury. How fun. Did I need the color? Probably not. The color is called Dance Floor Princess. I mean, and that just speaks to me, even though the shade is a little on the nude side. I'd say this is similar to that cotton candy, but not as pink. Last one is a Bobbi Brown, and this one is lilac. So any berry type shade is like my go-to, but there you go. The Beauty Blender is my absolute favorite thing that I use to blend out my face. I have it in the pink one right now, and this case I cannot speak highly enough about. I got this on Nordstrom's, one of their anniversary things. Um, yeah, you can still probably find it there or something very similar, but this thing is amazing. It has all of these holes so your sponge can breathe. It's silicone, so it's squishy to throw in your bag and it's just convenient because it keeps your sponge clean. And then my Laura Mercier setting powder. I go back and forth, but currently this is what I've been using to set like my concealer areas. Let's see here, I have my NARS. This is the Sheer Glow in Mont Blanc. And this is one of my favorite foundations. Absolutely love it. It's very buildable, but still like gives you full coverage. My other go-to foundation is the Airbrush Flawless Foundation. This is from Charlotte Tilbury and I wear it in the shade Too Neutral. One of my primers, this is one of my go-to primers, it's the Tatcha Silk Canvas. Yes, you're probably wondering why the heck I have this up here with my face things. Well, guys, I use Monostat Chafing Relief Powder Gel on my face. Yes, this works identically to the Smashbox Photo Finish, and it's like $7 versus $50, so there. I have a little sharpener up here. It has two different little sizes, and this is from Anastasia, Beverly Hills. A glitter, this is um, a glitter from MAC. It's the Dazzle Shadow in the shade, um, every day is sunshine. This little guy actually goes to my face creams. I use this to dig out my um, moisturizer so I don't have to put my fingers in there. Spatty Daddy, and I found this off of um, Shark Tank, and I got this on Amazon, but it's great to, especially when I just ran low on that last bottle from NARS, I just was like, dig, 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 and I got a lot of makeup out of there. 
you know, for the price that you spend for it. These are my setting sprays. They're from MAC. It's the Prep and Prime Cherry Blossom scent. And then the other one next to it is the Pony Park. And it has kind of a, let me shake it up. If you can see, it has kind of like a iridescent shimmer to it. It's so pretty. Here, I'm just testing this out. It's Marley Skin Guard and it's similar to a primer. It's supposed to help fill pores and everything. And not sure how I'm loving it, but it did work with my smile lines. Something that I found from NYX is this pore filler, and I like to put this on my nose. So I'll use my primer everywhere, and then I'll just put this along my nose, and it helps fill in those pores a little bit better. Prep and Prime 24 Hour. This is an eye base. Moving into some more lips, we have my liners that were just up there. I will go through each color with you. This is Brick. This matches great with the Russian Red lips and this is the miss diva it goes with that diva lipstick mahogany and this is definitely more of like a brown red my favorite this is soar and it is the perfect pink shade to use with all of those pink lips i showed you kiss me quick this is more for like those brighter more orangey red shades spice and this is definitely more of a nude brown shade and kind of has like a mauvey undertone this is what i wear with the kidman's kiss and this is pink venus as you can see it's more of a like corally peachy pink we have salsa from ben and i burgundy so this is like a deeper like plum color and it is gorgeous on especially like with that dusty rose lip that I'm currently wearing, it's really pretty with that too. If I'm wanting a super dramatic like pop of pink, I will to go to this one and it's Fashion Boost. It's really pretty, but it's kind of like out there, you know? Need Whirl, which I was saying with the Velvet Teddy, it looks really nice with. This looks great with Faux as well. Ben and I, Tara, again, a nice natural color. Another Charlotte Tilbury, and this is Super Size Me. This one looks great with Pillow Talk, with um, the Secret Salma, which is my favorite from her. We'll move into the glosses now. So again, I have a lot, not as many, but here we go. Aladdin Collection, this has like that gold, type of shimmer to it and this is in the shade diamond in the rough this is magic carpet and it's more on kind of like that iridescent it has a little pink undertone to it one of my go-to's that i love just because i feel like it makes your lips look super juicy is just this clear mac gloss lip stains we'll say is from dose of colors and this is in the shade lazy daisy it's a really fun name but this again is kind of like a mauvey brown color this is a lip gloss from buxom and i think this is mint Oh, rose julep. There we go. Not mint julep. That's a drink. Right here, this is an older one. I don't wear it that much, but I still love it because it's from the Cinderella collection. And I just, yeah, it's just pretty. It's a nice kind of sheer little glitter gloss. And I just like it because again, Cinderella. From Too Faced, this is in the shade sunset crush so it's great for honestly summer because it has like that kind of goldy like peach hue to it charlotte tilbury one again it looks don't be scared by like the orange peach color it really has no color to it but the shade is called hall of fame one of my recent faves is a cream sheen glass and this is boy bait and again it's a very nude it doesn't really change the color of your lip it just kind of adds a little kind of like oak opaqueness or like a milkiness to the lip color versus just a clear gloss. Lastly, it's kind of like a chubby chapstick, but colorful. Um, this is in the shade, I think French Kiss? Yes, this is in the shade French Kiss. And this is great for like when you're nice and bronzed for summer, obviously not now, um, but it's just like a nice kind of like summery bronze lip shade. I told you I had a lot of makeup. My clear brow gel. This is what, after I get done shaping my brows, I put this in there to lock the shape in. I also use the Dip Brow from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is in the shade Taupe. This is my absolute favorite. I cannot do my brows anymore without my new MAC. This is the Shape and Shade Brow Tint from MAC. I use it in the shade Lingering. That's what's on me right now. I do love 
the brow was pencil from Anastasia. So this one I use pretty much to shape my brows. I like to draw the shape with this and then I will fill in with all that other stuff. One of my other translucent powders that I absolutely love lately is from Charlotte Tilbury. Again, packaging flawless, thank you. It's the Airbrush Flawless Finish and this is in the shade One Fair. But yeah, so I go back and forth between this and the Laura Mercier. Um, I just feel like sometimes my skin, my face gets like sick of something. So then I have to like change it up. And then once it gets sick of that, I go back to the next. This is the Aladdin collection and it's super pretty. Let me show you. I don't use it as often as I would like just because I don't really have places to wear these colors to, but, and I can't wear it to work, but they're super pretty. And the casing is just so fabulous. One that I do use a lot though. These are just single ones that I plopped in my own little compact here. Girly. I think it's soft brown, but I honestly don't know. I'm into it. And it's definitely like a maroony brown color. It's Blanc type. This one's Blanc type. I promise you. But anyways, this is like my go-to like natural one. It's late. It has kind of like a blue undertone to the gray. Pure charcoal. And I don't know the shade off of hand. This one is a mega and it's just a soft kind of grayish beige color and this is the blanc type as well so i just got a freshie over here this one is one of my favorite little glitter pots and this is last dance and this is a dazzle shadow like look at how pretty i have cranberry very pretty it's like a shimmer cranberry shade this is quarry and this has kind of like this is a gray but it kind of has like a purple violet undertone to it wedge another soft brown color. I have slow, fast, slow. This is similar to the last dance. It's a shimmer, like a dazzle shadow, but it's more bronzy looking. If you can see that, it's definitely more pigmented than the last dance one. Yogurt, pale pink color. Moving into my highlight and contour drawer. Here are all of my contour and highlights currently. So I have from MAC, I have this contour. This is very dark. So this is like an extreme contour for myself. This is in the shade Blunt. This is from Tarte and it's the Tartiest Pro Palette. But as you can see, there's just some fun different highlights and contours. These are great for like summer. I'll use these more often. I honestly have never really touched this. I have one fingerprint there just to test it out. This is a cream contour and it seems super dark for me. And then this is just a normal like matte contour, which I'll use very seldomly again, more summertime. MAC as well. This is a great kind of like bronzer contour too. I use it more as a bronzer and it is the shade... This is medium tan, and this is, again, another favorite. I just love highlight. As you can see, I have plenty of it. But this one is soft and gentle, I believe. It's a nice, natural, nude highlight. This one I love for like my work days. It's very icy. It has like that purpley pink undertone to it. It is awesome. It's from the Pony Park collection. So unfortunately it is sold out, but it's cold comfort. This is Charlotte Tilbury and it's a duo. So you can see that it has a more natural contour here and then a natural highlight. This is one of my absolute favorite highlights. I've had this forever. It's from Too Faced it's in the shade Blinded by the Light. That's really hard to read. And this gives you a nice icy frost little shimmer and I absolutely love it. I have some strobe cream from MAC. This is in the pink pink shade or peach light, my bad. This is just a sample of the natural strobe cream. So there's no like hint of um, color to it. Another lash curler. This is the mermaid one from Tarte. I just am using my bling one right now. I have some more eyeshadows. Ben and I, this one is in the shade Mossberry. A nice plain natural toast. Nice and natural. This is in the shade Cork Mac Lashes. This one I got at holiday time and it is the Star Siding Compact in Lavender. So here are the colors. As you can see, they're very shimmery, very holiday-esque with all the glitz. Um, to be honest, I really have only used these two. This is a very natural color for me. And then I love putting this one over the top 
of my pink lid. I don't have it on there right now, but when I do, it's real, real pretty. The Mermaid Collection from Tarte. Now this one I have used a decent amount. It doesn't look like it, even though I have. I love like all of those like burgundy colors in there. I just think they're so pretty. And then like over here on this side, kind of like those natural shimmer shades, they're uh, like just fabulous on. We'll have more, more things for you to see. So here are all the blushes that were in that drawer. So technically, I guess this one shall be more in my highlights, but it doesn't fit up there. But this one is from MAC. Let's just take a moment to look at these colors. So again, I haven't really used this too much lately um, just because they're darker. So they're more for like summertime. It is the Ignite Wonder Face Palette. This guy's First of all, the packaging, again, what got me. I absolutely love this pink marble, but these are great, not only for your face, like for blush and contouring or bronzing, but honestly, I've used this for eyeshadow before and it really works nicely. Tarte blushes. So as you can see, this one is a very dolly pink and it is the shade Fearless. Super similar as you can see. This is in the shade party and it's really really nice again it's very light and neutral this one again it was so similar i wanted it because it came in that like flower power kit and i just liked the compact but um it is in fairy flush so this one is from nars and it is in the shade orgasm so from mac i would say this is the closest to that nars orgasm this i want to say is probably just a little bit more metallic and shimmery the petal power mineralized blush a nice kind of more natural day-to-day -day little pink color this is one of my favorites and it is in the shade called dainty if you want again more of a dolly kind of pink rosy cheek this shade is amazing and honestly it's called dolly mix this is another hourglass one as you can see it seems kind of like a freshie she's not really used that much but i do enjoy it this is in the shade diffused heat. One of the holiday compacts again from MAC and it is the Star Dipped Face Compact. So have two blushes and then two highlights. My eyelash case, it just stores your eyelashes like perfectly. Elsa from the ColourPop Frozen 2 collection. I love this packaging. I just think it's adorable and I absolutely love these colors. The Too Faced Natural Eyes palette and I've talked about this before in other videos. Very like natural little palette here. The Flower Power set and this is from Tarte and I am just loving all of the pink and like purpley plum colors. They have some nice tan shades there too, but I just think these are so pretty. I just love how shimmery they are. They are very pigmented. I love it. The casing, I love it with those stars. This was from Holiday Time and is from Too Faced and it's the Gingerbread Palette. It is the Gingerbread Extra Spicy. I just thought it was so cute. I got it when it was on sale and I mean, all those colors are so fun and you can see that I use now like Again, I'm more of a pink and natural gal, so those are what's been like geared towards. Oldest eyeshadow palettes is the Anastasia of Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance. And again, it's very natural to those pink, plummy, burgundy colors. We have another one from Too Faced, and this is the Dream Queen. Look at this storybook of colors. And then I just wanna show you, this is from Tarte. It's my Leopard Little Magnet Pro case. I just pop my own colors in there. So I just take these out of the casings that they come in and it's magnetic, so they stick and stay, and it's easy for me to take wherever I need to go. And these are both the Anastasia of Beverly Hills Norvina collections. This is volume one volume two. Volume one is definitely more on the purple scheme, duh, from the outside cover, and this one is more on the blue, but I just wanted to get these palettes because I was doing a lot of different like makeup looks or inspired by certain Disney ears, and as you can see from all of my other makeup, a lot of my shades are on the like natural side. So I was like, I need some bright, fun colors. So yeah, that was quite a collection, I know. And I am so happy with all of my new like organizational things that I got off of Amazon, how I have that whole layout because there was so much makeup that I owned in the past and 
being in different cosmetic bags, just like sitting there on the side of my counter. Like I just had no clue what I would have to like rummage through to try to find a certain lipstick that I had forgotten completely about. So I just really love my new setup. I see different colors and different palettes that I usually wouldn't have grabbed because Hey, I forgot they were there. If you guys enjoyed this video, I'd love it if you gave it a thumbs up. If you all are interested in subscribing and watching some more style, beauty, fitness, Disney things from me, then make sure that you hit that button right there in the center and don't forget the bell below because that'll keep you notified every single time I upload a video. And until next time, I will see you lovely zen. Bye.